At $799, the Mack Wheel Cruiser definitely falls into the cheap Amazon e-bike category, at least in terms of price, though not necessarily in terms of quality. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. First though, I want to give you a quick spec overview. Here you're looking at a 350 watt e-bike with a top speed of 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers per hour. The bike is powered by a 36 volt and 10 amp hour battery that is nicely integrated into the frame, a feature you pretty much never see on e-bikes of this price range. It's removable with a locking key, so you can either charge it on the bike or pull it off and charge the battery inside while the bike stays locked outside. As far as components go, we've got Tektro disc brakes on both the front and rear wheels and a Shimano 7-speed transmission. You also get a number of extra features like front and rear LED lights, a sturdy 55-pound rated rear rack with a spring-loaded clip, included fenders on both wheels, an adjustable stem, electric horn, etc. Basically, for a budget price, you're getting a lot of features you normally find on pricier e-bikes. That nicely integrated battery still impresses me, especially since most other e-bikes that cost as much as twice this one still use bolt-on batteries, and you usually don't see nicely integrated batteries like this until you get well north of $2,000 or more. Alright, so there are the specs, but what does it all mean? What are the pros and cons here? We've covered many of the pros already, which are basically the high value here. We're talking about 20 mile per hour speeds on throttle or pedal assist, and a number of integrated features. For $799 and an Amazon e-bike, none of those things are standard in this industry, so that's a pretty good deal right there. Though when it comes to the cons, there are a few disadvantages here too. The 350 watt motor is fine, but not anything special. It does take a bit longer to get up to speed than most 48 volt based e-bikes I've ridden. Next, while you get name brand parts like Tektro disc brakes and Shimano transmission, the parts are all pretty low tier. They're basically the entry-level components for all of these suppliers. That's fine, it's just nothing fancy. And lastly, the 10 amp hour battery is smaller than average for the industry. They say you can get up to 50 miles of range in the lowest pedal assist setting, which might technically be true under ideal conditions, but don't count on that in the real world. I'd say 25 miles or 40 kilometers of range on moderate pedal assist is likely the best you'll see in real world conditions, and throttle only riding at top speed will drop that range even further to around 15 miles or 25 kilometers. So that's definitely below average, but it's only a bit below other e-bikes that cost twice as much as this one. So again, the value is still there as long as you know going into this that you're getting somewhat lower performance with the Mack Wheel Cruiser. But not everyone is ready to drop one and a half to three thousand dollars on their first e-bike. And if you just want to get a cheap e-bike off Amazon that works well and looks like it costs more than it does, the Mack Wheel Cruiser will do that for you. It's a nice looking e-bike with plenty of features for its budget price, and in that way, I'm quite happy with it, all things considered.